welcome back to Notch, where we're doing things as normal, hopefully. <laughs> and this time we get to see these two freaking escape. Well, we question why. <laughs> should we cr should we climb across the way rails? It's impossible to look at the highest of the rails. I have no idea of what the highest of these rails is. Well, can you explain? Because all we see is the rail on the balcony and that's it. Looking down, I can only use... I can only see thick leaves. Well, you can use the tree if you can jump off of it. <laughs> the ground is blocked uh, by the le these leaves, so you don't know the highest actually. We are, where we are is quite high off the ground. So, four or five stories, maybe? <laughs> Debatably. <laughs> Three, I'd say is about minimum. If we are dumb, if we climb across the rails, you probably will be all right since you are immortal. But I will be doomed. Uh, sorry, I forgot. And at least, you, at least uh, you're thinking. That's something. <laughs> Besides, we don't know what we, what we will do, get into, if we climb across the rails. It could be a dead end down there. Yeah, could be and are two separate things. Why do you think so? Simple. The trees! Be because although you don't have special powers, you have an immortal body. Yeah, it's called uh, the he uh, healing factor? <laughs> no. The Tagoni family knows your secret, right? Yeah. So they will never set up the these easy to get away rails. Make a hell of a lot more sense. Don't forget, the Tagoni family tried every means to manipulize, monopolize your power. Their impression, they imprisoned you here. For how long? Do they, do you think they are stupid enough to lead, leave a way out for you? Think about it. Why else do you think I am so amazing? <laughs> no. I guess there are another forbidden area down there. What do you... What, what are you going to do? Oh no, I have like two characters that have roughly the same voice, so... Yay! Don't worry. I'll have a situ solution. I know, I keep on changing her voice. Stop judging. Since I came here to find you, I take you out of here too. Now, come with me. Jumps off the building. Manages to make it exactly on there. Okay. Remember, don't say a word from now on, or make any big sounds. <laughs> She's right there with her freaking pots of pants going, What? Bang, bang, bang! I don't think they'll hear us! <sighs> Let's go. What do you mean? <laughs> no. We are safe now. We are finally free! Ah, uh, uh, great. I have never been in, uh, to any places except the Tagoni residence. The outside world is so beautiful. This is a marsh. 
We did. I don't... <laughs> How is this beautiful? It's a marsh. That's my only question. Well, it does have a little bit. Eh, it works. Can't judge too heavily. Yeah, it's much more beautiful than the Tagoni residence. Yeah. No, wait. Yeah. Let's say goodbye to the Tagoni family and enjoy the outside world until they get hunted down. Yeah. We will stick together from now on. Okay. Till they bump into... Wait, no. You have said- oh wait, yeah, I know, it took me a little bit to figure out- oh wait, yeah, this one. You have said so much about the past, but I didn't see how those had anything to do with my life story. That girl was chosen to be the heir to the, to the Kimono Miku. Is your mom? What? What, really? <laughs> yes! Ooh. Shouldn't she be a virgin forever? How did she get pregnant? She chose to run away from the Tagone family with that god! <laughs> They disappeared for a year! The Tagone family drew on every resident to look for them, but found no sign of them! As he's freaking out. <laughs> Hisashi, now do you believe your father wasn't a Tagone? I can assume you before assure you before your mom got away from the family she was still a virgin Why why are you so she about it? Because it's him <laughs> He knows <laughs> Because when she left, she was not involved in any relationships. She barely had contact with any men in the family. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense due to the rules that were set there. Besides, everyone, everybody in the family knew your mom was the heir to the Komodo Kimiko, so nobody dared to make a prey of her, of your mom. Family rule says any man who defiles the Komodo Miku will be executed in the most brutal way. Well, that happened. Kind of. <laughs> Even if someone was not afraid of death, he couldn't su survive the brutal execution. No one dared to approach your mom. Defiling the Commander Mika could bring such serious consequences. My mom was just an ordinary person. Would the Tagoni family expert such a such great effort to protect it? Well, they didn't do well. <laughs> Although she was an ordinary person, she was the Kamona Miku. So the family attached great importance to her protection. According to the family culture and tradition, every Kamono Miku must be pure, and her body can only be survived by gods. So, in theory, <laughs> ordinary men are forbidden to touch the Kamono Miku. 
Once a man touches a kimono Miko, his behavior is concerning, considered to perform the gods who protects the family and the whole town. Just a gentle touch will bring death to them. Well then, now we now we know. A, a few hundred years ago, a man who ch was chosen to be an heir to the Tigone Master was smited by the then beautiful Kimono Miko. He ignored the family rules and tradition and touched that Kimono Miko. Then stuff happened and made it even worse. <laughs> the Kimono Miko also had a crush on that man, so she didn't refuse him despite the family rule. At least they were executed in front of the family members. Well, at least we know to show an example. Ah, how was they executed? They were nailed on two big crosses with countless iron nails. Okay, are we talking about like railroad spike kind of nails or just standard nails? So you have to forge them then. God, that. Ah. The iron nail was standard, it stabbed in their bodies every few inches. Oh. Nine, none of the iron nails were pierced, and their important blood, important blood vessels, and vital parts, so they didn't die immediately. They were placed in front of the family, residents, and publicly executed to all the people in the town. Now we know they were, uh, freaking executed in front of everyone. I uh, have fun with that. <laughs> Thank God they didn't show pictures. Okay, they, I wouldn't mind it. I think it'd be okay, terribly. Then, after that, an executor, executioner cut open their skin, starting, no, starting from their hands and feet. They eventually bled to death. Oh. I can't believe such a pet family is capable of such brutal things. Well... Isn't that breaking laws to an extent? I know it's... family disputes, but that's also breaking laws. I'm not gonna go into that. <laughs> Do you know why people in the town trust our family? Because we place ra righteousness above family loyalty. We will never tolerate anyone profiling, no, profiling gods. <laughs> place regardlessness about family loyalty. What a great family! That's why I was called the unworthy descendant and my mom was killed. 